Today we will be comparing the Prosenic F20 Washback and the Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max. From the start, I can see visually the, that the height is very similar. Buttons are very easily accessible for both vacuums and are up in the front so you can easily access all the buttons while you're cleaning. Both products have a digital display screen so you can see the battery percentage and different modes. Based off of the appearance, both of these products have very different body styles. The Prosthetic F20 is very slim and the Crosswave is more bulky. Both of these washbacks feature the dirty water tank in the front. The only difference is that the Prosthetic water tank holds more liquid than the Bissell Crosswave. So when you're using the Prosthetic, you don't have to worry about stopping midway through your cleaning to empty the tank and go back to cleaning again. Another thing I noticed about both of these water tanks is that the HEPA filter is on the top of both products. The HEPA filter is also removable for both of these products. Another thing we noticed is that the dirty water tank for the Prosthetic F20 has a lid that's more stable and harder to let go of when turning it upside down. But the Crosswave is very, very easily taken apart and isn't as secure as the Prosenic. This leads us to believe that water spillage for the Crosswave's dirty water tank is more likely than the Prosenic's water tank. Both of these products come with a spare roller that is microfiber, but with the Bissell Crosswave, you can see the bristles showing through on the roller. We have also noticed that there is a difference in size. It looks like the Prosenic is a little bit bigger than the Crosswave. Another difference is that the Prosenic comes with a spare HEPA filter, but the Crosswave does not. For the Prosenic F20, the floor cleaning solution that comes with the product also mentions how many capfuls of the cleaning solution to put into the tank. The Crosswave comes with double the ML of cleaning solution compared to the Prosenic. To allow for better cleaning of your dirty water tank, the Prosenic comes with a cleaning brush and the Bissell does not. Moving on to the back of both of these products, they both have a clean water tank attached. Just like the dirty water tank on the front of each product, the clean water tank on the Prosenic holds more water than on the Crosswave. And you can really tell the difference when looking at both of these side by size and reading the max fill line on both of these. So one thing that I noticed about both of these washback is that when you pull the handle back for the crosswave, you can just hear a really loud noise and it almost sounds like something is breaking or cracking. So you almost have to like put your foot down and hold it there to pull it back so it's not really very convenient but for the prosthetic you can see that I can just put my foot here lightly and it's just a simple as that doesn't really make a lot of noise so in order for you to change the rollers uh, they're kind of different uh, for the prosthetic we have a latch here all you do is just pull on the latch and it comes right out and then you turn it and then there's another latch over here and once you pull that out then you can remove your roller all the way and to install it this is the same exact way that you hook it out and it's very very easy and convenient and we are good and for the cross wave you have to just pull over here and then just pull out by the white tab that you have and install it the same exact way So with the Crosswave, we have a button here on the back. Um, looks almost like a green color button. And you have to actually press and hold this button constantly when you're washing your floor. Otherwise, it will just vacuum. So we pull our handle back uh, in order for us to start. We have our digital screen here and then the power button here. And we also have a mode button. On this one, you only have two modes. You only have the hardwood or you have the area rock cleaning mode. Um, where the prosthetic actually has four different modes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and kind of use it and see how it does with the edge cleaning and the floor cleaning 
and a um, couple other things here. Press the power button. So it shows you the battery, uh, not the percentage, but the bar. But you know how the percentage actually shows us the actual percentage of the battery. So now you can see that I don't have any water coming out. But once I press the button over here, you will see the light come on and it will actually dispense water. As you can see. One thing that I noticed right away is this one actually does not have the self-guiding like the Prosenic does. So this one you actually have to push forward and pull back. And to me personally, it kind of feels like it's not, you know, really on the wheels. I actually kind of feel like I'm dragging this on my floor. So it almost feels like it's going to scratch up my floors. I don't actually like that feeling but it does you know swivel um, left to right back and forth so when i'm using a cross wave to uh, clean the edges like you know edges like under your kitchen cabinets and these areas are kind of hard to get to it's actually very hard because you don't have the self-guiding so you kind of have to push back and forth with the self-guiding it actually makes it very easy to clean so when i'm actually pushing it it completely goes uh in a different direction and i'm constantly thinking about how I'm dragging something on my floor and I'm kind of worried that I'm going to scratch up my hardwood floor. So without the self-guiding mode, the washback feels a lot heavier and that's why you feel like it's constantly dragging back and forth on the floor. So here we have the Prosenic F20 and we just pulled the handle back and it's very, very nice and quiet. And with the Prosenic, we have four different modes. Uh, we have the smart mode, we have the max mode, we have the disinfectant mode, and we have the water absorption mode. And the power button is right here, and the mode button is right here. We have the nice digital display that shows us our battery percentage and all the different modes that you are going through. And it is very, very light. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on now. And as soon as I turn it on, the first thing I can tell is that the percentage is self-guiding which makes it very very easy for you to clean your floor and the other thing that i like is when i'm mopping you can probably see my water streak and as i move forward you can see the water streak is disappearing so this so the prosthetic mops and it absorbs the water right away leaving you with a streak free floor and then as I'm cleaning with the Prosenic F20, I don't have to press and hold onto a button in order for me to dispense water. And the nice thing between the mode is with the speed mode, it is not dispensing out a lot of water. Once you do the max mode, you can actually see the water level increasing. And then we have the disinfected mode. So if you spill something on your floor, you definitely want to make sure that you disinfect it. That way you don't have any germs on your floor. Or if somebody spilled water or any type of drink you can use the absorption mode and it will just absorb up all of that you know spilled drink on your floor right away when i am cleaning the edge it also makes it very very easy because we have the self-guiding mode and you can just see it for yourself it doesn't feel like i am dragging something on the floor like that crossway here on the floor you'll see that we've spilled some juice and flour onto the floor and we're going to see how well this washback f20 can pick up the dirt now we are going to go in and see how well the cross wave does with the spill that we have on our floor and also picking up the flower so i'm going to turn it on and press and hold the button And just from using this, one thing that I noticed is that I still have flour in between the creases of my hardwood floor. And that does kind of bother me and I wanna make sure that I get it all out. But if I can use this one, then I will be using the Prosenic to get that all out because it has done a much better job. seem to have done a good job picking up the spilled milk.
and as I picked it up I can see that it actually did not pick up all the milk and it just left some milk residue on the floor uh, which I don't like so I'm gonna put this one to the side and it will probably make more mess on my floor but let's bring out the boss in this video the Pacific turn it on change it to max and you can see that it's wet and dry at the same time and the milk is already done and the flour that I had on the floor it's also nowhere to be found anymore so now I'm gonna go ahead and put both of the vacuums on the base and this one once I put it on it just beeps so let's go ahead and put the prosthetic on here charging to avoid odor please clean the waste water tank by starting the self-cleaning function so that is one thing that I really like it tells you to turn on the self-cleaning mode so that way you are actually not going to forget to clean up your roller but the Crosswave doesn't have any type of language or speaker in order for you to stay updated when you're changing the modes or your battery life. You constantly have to look and check on it when the Prosenic always keeps you notified as to what's going on. Over here, I have the Bissell app and it shows the maintenance that you're going to need for the vacuum, similar to the Prosenic. It has the filter life brush life and the formula that you're using. It includes your floor types and the history of your cleaning. Over here, it doesn't have a duration or amount of times cleaned yet to show. And it can show you also for the week, month, or the year. Here, I have the Prosthenic app. It doesn't just let you know the functionality of your um, HEPA filter and your rolling brush. It also lets you know the functionality of your dirty water tank and your clean water tank, as well as having a normal function of your roller brush and your battery level being shown in the middle of your screen. And you can also control the self-cleaning button via the app as well, and you can turn on self-cleaning this way. So over here, you'll see your weekly cleaning report, which was also showed in a different way for this app, but it looks like it has different types of charts and you can see how many times you've used the mode throughout the week. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the self-cleaning mode for our prosthetic vacuum and then I'll be turning on the Bissell one manually so that it doesn't have the option through the app. Start self-cleaning. Please wait while the disinfectant is being made. So this base has five fan ports as well as four antibacterial lamps. So one thing I noticed about the self-cleaning mode for both products is that the Crosswave finished in less than 30 seconds, it felt like, and the Prosthenic F20 has a more in-depth, deeper disinfecting mode as you can see, there is lights at the charging base of the Prosthenic, which is UV cleaning lights, and it disinfects the rolling brush, as well as having fans that blow and dry your brush as it's cleaning. And it takes a little bit more time. I love the fact that through the app, you can see how long it will take and get an estimated time to see when it will be done cleaning for the Prosthenic. And the Crosswave does not unfortunately have that feature. Currently, the prosthetic is on the market on Amazon for $269 even, and the Crosswave is on sale for $358.15 via Amazon. I hope that our review and comparison video for these two products helps you in coming to a conclusion as to which is best for your household. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review and comparison video on the Crosswave and the prosthetic F20, and we'll see you guys next time.